Hi. Welcome to Crazy Hair Day, Heart Opening Day. I think making all of these videos that I've been in just embodying these darker states, allowing these suppressed parts of me, these parts of me that I've hidden away, just really letting you guys see them all. Uh, it's really been heart opening for me. It's been so healing for me. It's like those parts of me that used to stay shut down and want to stay closed because they didn't feel safe. They're starting to feel very accepted and loved by me. Um, and yeah, so today I'm experiencing heart openings. Uh, it's really nice. It's delicious. It's fulfilling. You really start having the direct experience that, oh, I'm whole and complete. A lot of the things that I was hoping would manifest they came from the mind the ego which was just underneath that desire for whatever it wanted was just this need for validation because it doesn't feel whole and complete and so that's a big question like are we living from the heart or the mind you know what are the actions we're doing every day are they coming from the from the true heart who doesn't the heart doesn't need anything and it's just an expression of love or are they coming from the mind, which is always seeking more, right? And more validation, whatever. And just seeing that in my own self and how when I do try to manifest things from the mind, I just get crumbs back and it's a lot of effort. And it's, it's, it's the heart's like a thousand times more powerful. But the thing is, the heart won't manifest anything unless it's true. It's pure, you know, it's. It's like a, it has to be this deep soul desire in alignment with your life stream desire. Um, so I've just been realizing a lot of the ways that I, you know, I live in the mind a lot still. I, I live in this really intense masculine way, especially recently, of just like treading the path. And that's cool. But recently my left foot started hurting really bad. <laughs> and that's always, I just intuitively discerned left foot, feminine, heart. It's hurting. It's probably like slow down and receive. Come into the heart. Um, and so it's, it's important to have that balance. And one of the other things, like the most powerful thing that happened recently is I woke up this morning at 3 in the morning, 2.33, couldn't fall back asleep for the life of me. I haven't been sleeping that much. My eyes were all bloodshot. And I just, I'm, I'm at this place. I'm in like my last day and a half here. You know, I'm, I'm, I did it. I'm doing it. Well, this will, this is part of that. Um, I asked the Divine Mother. I said, you know, Divine Mother, just come into me and do this last day and a half for me. I also have a really kind of, on a human level, a big decision, like a fork in the road um coming up and I'd, I'd have no idea what to do about that surprise surprise um and i just told the divine mother you know do this last day and a half through me come into me and and make this decision for me too divine mother lead me guide me show me the way divine mother because i i don't know and i and i called on any ascended beings any ascended masters that want to lead me and help me during this time you're welcome to do that um, and specifically I was referring to Hilda Charlton, who is in my lineage, in our lineage with Craig Holiday and Cesare. Um, those are my teachers. And it was so beautiful. A little bit later, 20, 30, 40 minutes, an hour later, I just started feeling so like this just delicious, sweet, loving nectar type energy infusing my whole field infusing my whole being i felt myself just drift off into this really deep sleep rest and i had some really alive and loving and fun dreams um as i was in this deep state of rest and and it was, I really felt the Divine Mother. I really felt Hilda Charlton coming into my consciousness and just providing me this incredible support on an energetic level. And then when I woke up, I was just really in my heart. 
And it was a reminder of how much I haven't been in my heart totally and how much it's still, I still have a tendency to go up here and do the masculine thing and the ego and the mind. And it's like a balance, you know, um, if we're just doing that, life's going to, we're going to work a lot harder than we have to. And anyway, so the guidance I got from Hilda, from the Divine Mother, it was just like, come into your heart and let the heart lead. Feel into the heart. What does the heart want? A lot of times I find myself listening to this voice of what to do with decisions. And it's like a stern, direct, kind of like a harsher voice. And it's like, is that the voice of the heart? Or is that the voice of like the inner critic slash, you know, toxic masculine like the voice of the heart is just really you know it's just everescent it's so mm, it's just like soft it's it's just it has if you can see my hands it has like a certain shape to it the, the voice it's, it's not so much the, the voice of the heart you know sometimes it can be really direct and like firm but it, it's, there's not a harshness to it the voice of the heart is just so loving and it's just so odd. It's just like, yeah, of course this, this way, you know? <laughs> and so I finally start tapped into the voice of my heart or to the guidance of my heart this morning for this decision that's upcoming. And it was so clear once I was in the heart, it was just like, oh yeah, of course I want to go this way. I want to connect. Um, whereas the voice of like that, that toxic masculine you could say or like that wounded masculine that wounded part of me it's like a voice that's like go this way because there's no chance of being hurt less chance of being hurt you're on your own it's like i have a lot of that like the the lone wolf path which has its value and um you can learn a lot and 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 also what i was doing last night is like i'm not gonna make this decision like one way is a hundred percent the right and one way is zero percent right I do that too much and like Cesare has told me that's a sign of trauma and when we say one it's like all or nothing you know one decision is totally right and the other is totally wrong it's just not true so I also took the pressure off myself in that way too I was like you know either ways the both paths are going to lead me to the same place each path is just a moment offers a moment to moment opportunity to surrender to something greater so it doesn't really matter and from the highest perspective and I'm just going to let, I, I just felt like myself saying, you know, I'm not making this decision. I'm going to let life make this decision for me. And that's it. And I feel like that has actually happened. And it's been a flow. It's been peaceful. It's been restful. It's been easy. It's been smooth. It's been obvious. Like once I fell into the heart, I'm telling you, it's just like, oh yeah, <laughs> Duh, this way. Um, and that's what the heart, that, that's what the heart wants to do. It wants to lead you. It wants to guide you. But when we're in our head a lot, and the reason we go to our head a lot is because to be in the heart, we have to feel a lot. And a lot of us have a lot of these wounds, deep wounds. So we go to the head and we try to go on a path that will save us from being hurt again, that will protect us, right? Um, and so if you're having voices in your head about decisions and they're really stern and harsh, maybe just do an investigation. Like, is this my heart speaking to me? Or is this, uh, is this just a part of me that's trying to serve me, you know? That's like that part, that harsh part of me. It's not as harsh as it used to be. It's more clear. And so there's something healing there in the masculine I can feel. And so we don't want to just discount it. We want to, we, we just want to do a gentle investigation. Like, okay, is the heart involved in this decision? Or is this just a egoic decision that I'm making with the mind, right? And so, yeah, once I fell into my heart, things became really clear, and it's just been a really, um, really nice morning. And I wanted to share that experience about how when you do ask something greater to come into your life and help you, sometimes you get a really powerful direct experience of that occurring. Um, and that's what I had this morning and it's just been a really nice morning. I actually feel really good here now after a kind of a hellish week, as you guys have seen in the past videos, it's been up and down I, the breakthroughs. I've been learning so much. I've been trying to make this experience into art for you guys as much as I can. Like I said, I've been able to embody some 
emotional states that I used to not feel safe doing. And I feel like that has all led to what I'm feeling right now, which is this really beautiful heart open state of consciousness, this flowing state of consciousness, this allowing state of consciousness, this effortless state of consciousness. Um, I've really let a lot of stuff come up and integrate and be seen by you guys, be seen by the light, be seen by myself. And it's interesting now I have like a day and a half left. I'm feeling good. Um, I feel like I've just processed and transmuted so much here. It's like I can see the intelligence of why I was brought here. Uh, everything it was meant to teach me. Being here, actually going through all those deeply buried and stuck energies of like hatred and rage and fear and darkness. It's actually left me in a more heart-centered place than I feel like maybe I've ever been. A feeling of more ease is in my beingness now. Just a deep relaxation, less judgment to myself, really letting myself be seen in those ways. It's just like melting a lot of judgment of what's a good and bad state, right and wrong state. It's just like, no, it's all divine. It's all love. And just knowing when you're in the heart, I'm telling you, it's just like you just know you're whole and complete. And so then manifesting and desiring it just is so different. It's like, well, when you really feel into what you want out of life, when you know you're already whole and complete, it's a different question. It, and sometimes it's just like, I don't know. I just we'll see what life in the universe manifests for me because you're already whole and complete. So there's not much you want to like. You don't really need to extract, you know, you don't need anything out here. And it's, it's just like, you just want more, you want to really, what you want to do is you want to share love. You want to share love. You want to share. That's why I'm sitting here doing this video. It's because I just wanted to share my heart with you guys. Cause that's, you know, there's not much left to want once your heart is open. Um, it's when your heart's shut down and we're in a wound. I've been here time and time again. That's when we tend to think we need to go out here and, and manifest something or get something, right? It's because we're in a wound, we're feeling lack, we're feeling that pain. And we want something to kind of take us from that pain. And we think if we go get the number of subscribers, this much money, this lover, this car, whatever the thing is, it doesn't even have to be superficial. Um, yeah, we, we think that that's our ticket to to wholeness. But the truth is the ticket to wholeness is just healing enough. So your heart feels safe to be open. And when it feels safe to be open, whew, it's a nice place to be. It's a free place to be. You don't really want much because you do feel that wholeness. And the thing is, so then the heart will close back down and a wound will come up and then it's time to sit with the wound and not fall for the ego's trick of telling you, well, if, if you'll, if you just go get this thing or if you go achieve this, then you'll feel whole and complete again. No, it's actually like in those moments, the path to whole and completeness again, to feeling that way again, is just being with the wound that's come up. And life will create the space and the circumstances to allow you to do that. And life will create the circumstances to trigger these wounds so you can fall more deeply into a state of wholeness so that you can fall more deeply into a state of open-heartedness. And, and it's just like every time you go back into the heart and it opens, it's like, oh, you're there even deeper. You feel the need for, you have less like things you want from the external because you, you feel more whole every time. It's like a, a deeper and deeper embodiment of wholeness and completeness every time I've come back into the heart after sitting with wounds for a long period. So I hope this video is helpful for you loving light workers and star seeds. You're all doing so good. I know there are some difficult and transformative times upon us. But just know it's just just to help you um, to connect to more love. And that's really what it is. That's what we're here to do, guys. We're here to anchor love. We're here to anchor peace. We're here to be inspirations for others. We're here to pave a new way to be way showers. And that really that, that starts with that starts with knowing your completeness and coming into the heart and letting the heart lead then your path just becomes more, more clear. It just becomes like a lot easier. You know, the, the heart's a thousand more times electromagnetically, supposedly than the mind. Let me tell you, I believe it. <laughs> I believe it because when I'm in my heart, life is pretty damn easy. And I'm sure you guys can relate when I'm in my head. <laughs> it's not always so easy. So, and for some of us, it can be hard because we have a lot of spaciousness up here and wisdom up here. And, and I'm not saying like, 
it's just bad up here. I'm just saying, like, can we balance it with the heart? Can we always just check in? Am I, am I in my heart right now? It's a good question to start every day, maybe every morning. Put your hands on your heart and feel in, check in in the heart. How's the heart doing? Can we live from the heart more fully? You know, can we ask for help from the divine? Help me live through my heart today, divine mother. Help me speak from my heart. Help all my actions come from a heart-centered way of being. And then the, the mind can assist and help, right? It can solve little puzzles here and there for you, right? But you want the heart to be leading. I think I've made a quote like, your mind is just an assistant, is just a tool to help and aid in the decisions that your heart has already made for you. So, so much love, so much peace. I will see you in the next video. Namaste.